Welcome back. Our entire area is under a severe thunderstorm watch until 9 o'clock. Everybody here is shaded in pink. This is a situation where not everybody is going to get a storm, but if you do get one, it's got the potential to produce some strong wind gusts. Now, we still have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for the far northeastern tip of Beaufort County until 645. Now, this particular storm is getting ready to head east into Colleton County. It's east of you in downtown Beaufort, so you don't have to worry about it there. But as it continues to head east along the coast, heading towards places like Edisto Island, it will have the potential to produce some strong winds. Further south, we're monitoring some heavy rain that's just north of Savannah and right on the edge of Garden City. Also tracking some lightning with that also. Now, this is moving to the east at about 25 miles per hour. As this continues to move off towards the east, uh, we can see that it will be reaching uh, areas like uh, Defusky Landing, 642, and a lot of marshland as well. But this may expand a little bit north and south as it continues to move off to the east. So we'll be monitoring that. This is not severe, just some heavy rain and lightning here at this time. Now, further west, we're also looking in an area of very heavy rain uh, between Claxton and Glenville. As we loop it here, you can see this too is heading off toward the east southeast, moving about 25 miles per hour. Fair amount of lightning with that uh, system as well. And this will be affecting you in Glenville as well as uh, Pembroke here and possibly Hinesville here in a little while. Again, about 25 mile per hour movement. Glenville here coming up at 622. Flemington a little bit after 7. As we expand the view here, we can see that these storms are scattered. Not everybody is getting rain, and you may get lucky and not see anything come through the area. This is being caused by a cold front pressing to the south, meeting up with some very hot air that no doubt you have noticed throughout the day. Right now, we are in the mid to upper 90s still ahead of this front. 96 in Baxley, 95 in Hinesville, and 96 in Midway. And when you factor in the humidity, here's what it feels like here. It still feels like 110 in Blackshear. It feels like 105 in Darien. Notice that some of the numbers to the north are a little lower as we've seen a few storms, like 87 in Beaufort. And these numbers will go down this evening as the cold front moves in from the northwest, especially if you get rain. Now tomorrow will be 72 in the morning. It'll be noticeably more pleasant. It won't be as humid. And in the afternoon, we'll have a high of about 90. It'll feel about 20 degrees cooler tomorrow. The actual temperature will be about 8 degrees cooler. As we check out your forecast for the water, tomorrow a wind out of the west at 5 to 10 knots and seas running at 2 feet. The latest pollen report showing that grass pollen is moderate. Mold remains high. Let's look ahead to your weekend. An early look here showing right now I think we're going to see more clouds and sun. Scattered downpour chances both Saturday and Sunday. Highs in the upper 80s to around 90. We'll fine tune that forecast for you as we get closer. Your entire storm tracker seven day forecast showing that we'll have uh, no rain the next couple of days and it will be less hot. Still up to around 90, but the humidity will be lower so it will feel more pleasant. Then that humidity will return as we finish out the week and we'll start seeing chances for scattered downpours returning as well as we head into next weekend.